Welcome to Renarda Jones Influencer CEO. I am Renarda Jones. Today, I am going to tell you how I get paid to solve problems. We're going to go over three steps and I'm going to throw on a bonus one to tie it all together. So let's jump right on in. First, what you have to do is you have to look for problems. I do that all the time. I look for problems. In the space that I serve as a managed care or consulting organization, one of the places where I look for problems is in regulations and guidance. CMS, which is the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, they put out all these rules and, and these regulations and guidance. Um, the Inflation Reduction Act, you may have heard, um, that was done by the Biden administration. And what happens is somebody has to do what it says. And most of the time, it's your insurance plans, in, in, in my case. So insurance plans have to do certain things that these government entities have told them that they're mandated to do. Well, that opens up an opportunity for you to find a problem because that insurance company may not have the tools or the resources they need to actually do what is being asked of them. Or maybe they actually have the resources, but they need somebody to oversee to make sure that that resource or that vendor is doing what they're actually supposed to do. So there's one place right there where you can find problems. It could be in your CMS rules, CMS regulations, your CMS guidance, um, and maybe you're not in that particular space. Well, guess what? There's other laws that are not related to healthcare that may be released where you can actually find some problems. Other areas where you can find problems is maybe you're in a current work environment and you see certain processes that occur and you're like, this really just doesn't make sense. I know a better way that this could be done. Um, it would be better if X, Y, and Z were to occur. So that in and of itself is a problem bit with the process. It's not that you're not getting to the end goal and reaching the result, but there's a better way to do it. So therefore, you have identified a problem of efficiency. So how can you come up with a solution to actually solve the efficiency problem? Another thing is unmet needs. So maybe it's something that is out there that nobody has actually created a viable solution for. So it's a need that does not yet have a solution. Um, and look for problems everywhere you go. I promise you there are problems every every place whether they're written in law by somebody or whether they're efficiency problems and things that maybe you see at work or maybe it's an unmet need so before we go on to step two please take a few seconds and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever videos go up so now let's go on to step two so now it's time to find out what the solution is. So one way and avenue that you can look for the solution is maybe there's one that's already available. Um, and when I say one's already available, you've identified a problem at a particular entity maybe or a particular organization. And there is a solution, but maybe that entity has not gone and explored that solution or maybe they have, but they didn't go with that particular solution for whatever reason. What you can then do is either offer and build out that solution at a lower cost or a higher value, okay? I did this with my staffing agency that I started several years ago, um, actually probably over 10 plus years ago. And I was working for a staffing agency and I was working one night at a Costco. And what I noticed, the pharmacy technician was preparing the invoices. And she made a comment and she's like, Renata, I wish all the floaters that came from this staffing agency were like you. She said, we had a guy last night, he wasn't that great. Um, and she said, we paid such a, a large amount of money not to always have good help. Um, so I said, well, how much are you paying this particular entity? I knew how much I made, but I didn't know how much they were actually paying. And so when she gave me the price, I'm like, really? <laughs> paying that kind of money and you got service last night that was subpar doesn't really make sense so literally that night I went home I started RMJ pharmacy solutions a staffing agency for independent pharmacies um, and then it wasn't originally set out for independent pharmacies it was set out for anybody who wanted the services but as I went out to market I noticed the people who could actually benefit more from my price point and my service was going to be the independent community pharmacy however guess who was also one of my customers Costco so um, I, that in that particular instance, there was already a viable solution on the market to staffing pharmacies, correct? Because of course I was already working for one. 
However, I was able to mimic that, lower the price and increase the value of the service that I provided. So that made me more marketable and offered that solution to other entities. Okay, so that's bucket one. And after you found the solution, you can in the solution bucket. So number one is something already available. And if it is, is it something that you can offer at a lower price point or at the same or higher price point, but the larger value. Second, can you build it and uh, internally? And that's what we did at PSIN. So what we do at PSIN when we're making outreach calls and helping these plans with their star ratings or adherence, medication adherence, is we built that out in-house. Um, we built it out, the meaning the software itself, as well as hiring the staff and actually doing the service ourselves. So can you build it out? Or is it something where you may work for a, an, an employer right now and that process needs to be done internally so can they build it out internally with the resources they already have and then the third way is you can actually consult to see if there is a solution on the market um, is there a way to build it internally um, at your organization and if it is can you provide consulting services for that solution implementing that new vendor or getting the project built from beginning to end okay so those are the ways that you can actually find the solution um, to the problem that we identified in step one and then finally in step three you want to implement the solution Okay, so this is where I enjoy consulting and this is where I differentiate myself uh, from the rest of the market. Uh, so not only at Peace End would we come in and say, hey, uh, here's some of the gaps that you have, but also here's the strategy. And hey, if you don't have the resources to actually implement this strategy, guess what? We can do it for you. Okay, so we offer it both ways. Uh, we're actually developing our web software now where if clients have resources, meaning manpower, but they don't have the tools and the capability to identify who they need to outreach, then they can use lease our services, our software services, and then use their own manpower. Right now, all of our clients are full service, which means we offer the software and we offer the people the entire reporting package from beginning to end, all the nuts and bolts. So that is one way that I want to make sure whenever you want to differentiate yourself and you may just be a consultant that want to do just strategy and that's fine. Just know that doing it that way is going to be a harder competition, possibly depending on what arena you're in. If you can add on that additional service of actually implementing that strategy, uh, that would be ideal in my opinion. Once you built that solution, are there ways that you can upsell or add on a layer in? Uh, we like to say if we can just get our foot in the door, we know that these organizations have so many issues that we can actually fix. If you can just get your foot in the door, you can always then find what? More problems. <laughs> and when you find more problems, guess what you're going to do? You're going to find more solutions. And what are you going to do with those solutions? You're going to implement those solutions. And I can promise you that these organizations and these entities would rather do business with somebody they're already doing business with versus going through contracting and trying to find somebody else. So if you're already on somebody's accounts payable um, department, then guess what? Stay there. Build upon that, okay? You want to stay in there. You want to find other opportunities. And the way you find other opportunities is you identify other problems, you find solutions, and you implement those solutions. Okay, so as I stated earlier, I was going to also give you a bonus tip. And here's the bonus tip. You want to make sure that you do all these steps with good customer service, all right? Uh, I want you to have good customer service as you service this sale before you actually win and solidify the deal during the actual contracting process, during the implementation, and after, okay? Always continue to service your clients, your prospects with good customer service. Even when I had the staffing agency that I talked about earlier, RMJ Pharmacy Solutions, a part of our tagline was providing extraordinary customer service, okay? When these independent pharmacies owner left and went on vacation and trusted us with their pharmacy, we wanted them to know that their customers would receive exceptional customer services if it was our store ourselves. 
Okay, so that's why it's very important for you to provide good customer service as you're servicing your, uh, your, your clients, even your prospects. Because guess what? Prospects can one day become an actual client. Also, when you're offering good customer service to your clients, guess what that opens up the opportunity for? Opens up the opportunity for you to have more business. So you know how we talked about finding problems um, and how these companies would want to do business with somebody they're already doing business with? Well, guess what? They also like to do business with people that they like. And who doesn't like people that has good customer service, okay? People are sometimes willing to pay and do business with people who are doing it very well, who are servicing them very well, even if it's at a higher price point, because there is value, tremendous value in execution and execution with great customer service. So in wrapping up this video, I want to make sure you under fully understand that you are able to make money by number one, finding a problem, then finding a solution to that problem, implementing that solution, and doing all of these steps from beginning to end with exceptional customer service.